What is going on you guys and welcome back to another exciting LumaFusion transition tutorial. In this video, we're going to create some fake clouds in LumaFusion, which you can add to your footage to spice it up to make those insane transitions where you are going from, let's say an airplane to something else and then you have the pan motion and you can kind of put a cloud in between there so the effect looks cooler and the transition looks awesome. Now you can do this completely in LumaFusion by creating the pan motion as well by using keyframes and making your own easy ease keyframes if you know how to do that. But what I recommend is that you, when you are filming or if you have some shots which already has that pan motion inside the camera, that will totally make a difference to this effect and it will make it a lot easier for you to make an awesome transition if you just have it in your camera. Keep in mind that it works best if you are actually filming up towards the uh, the sky. But anyway, with these uh, simple clouds that we can make in LumaFusion, you can achieve something like uh, this. Now keep in mind that the animation here, the pan animation is simply two keyframes, so it's not as smooth as you can get it. But if you if you know how to use or to create easy ease uh, keyframes, this will look even better. Now I also made this in the um, art list video, which I also have on my channel. So make sure to check that video. It's down in the description if you want to check out some of the other transition as well. And I want to say that all of the effects uh, is now being breaking down breaking down is now being a breakdown in the LumaFusion Masterclass course and we all we already have the Stingray uploaded we have the light trails um, uploaded so if you are a part of the LumaFusion Masterclass or if you want to learn how to create these awesome effects make sure to sign up for the Masterclass course at robbhgameblogs.com now with that said let's head over to the iPad so we can start this tutorial mm -hmm. So now that we moved over to the iPad and over to Luma Fusion here, we have two clips on the timeline. The first one is the plane here, and you can also see that we have clouds here in the background of the engine, which makes this a lot easier. Now, the next one is these birds, which we also have the seagulls here, and we also have the cloudy overcast here in the background. So making the fake clouds for something like this should be fairly easy. But you can, however, use the fake type of, um, of clouds method to any type of clips that you want. So just make sure that you have them in uh, some sort of a sky shot to make it a little bit more realistic. So now let's uh, start to edit the first clip here. And what I'm going to do here on the first one is simply to drag this up uh, to uh, uh, track number three here. So we have this above the other one. The next thing I'm going to do is to go into edit on this and we're simply going to go to the end here to somewhere around um, here, make a keyframe and I'm going to zoom this into around, let's see, uh, 167 and simply place it at the uh, bottom here so we have most of the engine visible. Now since we're going to add some cinematic bars as well, I can drag this a little bit up here to somewhere like that. And once I've done this, I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to take the position Y here and drag all the way to the bottom. So now we basically created this simple animation. So if we take a look at that, you can see that it goes from the normal shot here and then it pans up towards the top. Now you could make some easy ease uh, keyframes yourself if you know how to do that. I'm not, not going to go through that in this uh, tutorial. Uh, we're just going to keep it simple so you can see how you can easily make these uh, fake clouds with your different shots. Now, the best thing would be to have some shots which you have filmed with your camera, which has this, uh, this movement to begin with, so we don't have to make it in post-production. So now that we've finished with the first clip here, we can take the uh, next clip, which is underneath, and we can place it exactly when the first movement start or right before. So that will be here. So I'm going to take this and just overlap it like that. And we now have this clip coming in here with the birds. 
So we're now going to go into edit on the bird clip here and we're sort of going to do the same thing. We're going to scale it in to around, let's see, we can do 140, 150. Let's go with 160 on this as well. And we're going to go to the beginning here, make a keyframe, and I'm going to take the position Y here and drag it all the way to the top. You can lower the up or the size a bit here, do something like that. And now we're going to go to the point here where we see the overlap. As you can see here, we have some overlap here on the screen here. Uh, so we're just going to keep it like that. And we're going to make a keyframe here. And then we're going to go forward in time here until we get to the point where it disappears. And we're going to take the position Y. And we're going to drag it down to where we want it to be. So around here. So if we now go out to the timeline here, we can do a slow uh, scrub through here so we can see how it goes. And then we have the movement here of the plane coming down. And then we have the birds coming in like that. Now the reason why I did this overlap here is simply because we're going to do some uh, cropping to it as well to make it more seamless. Uh, this will also make it a lot easier when we're going to create the fake clouds. So now that we're inside the bird clip here, we're going to go over to cropping. We're going to go to the first point here where we have the first movement, right, right before we have the first movement. And uh, we're going to make a keyframe here and we're going to go one frame forward in time. Then we're going to add the edge softness here. And we're also going to crop this in. This will be the bottom here, something like that. We can't see anything right now because we have to do the same with the clip on the top as well. So we're going to go into the uh, airplane here and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to cropping. Then we're going to go to the point where it starts to overlap like that. And we're going to make a keyframe and we can go one frame forward in time and we can increase the edge softness here. And as you can see, we have the overlap here or the uh, blending. So as you can see, when we take this to 100, you can see the line here in the middle of the uh, screen sort as well. So that's something that we don't want. So I'm gonna take the edge softness and just bring it a little bit more back. Something like that. We can go forward in time here. We can see if we can increase this or decrease it. And we're gonna do that again, something like that. And we can now go back to the bird clip and see if we can do some of the same things here again. So we're going to take the edge softness and the cropping here and pull a little bit back to something like that. So now we basically have uh, an easier way of creating these fake clouds as well because we now sort of blended as good we can basically uh, those two clips together. And uh, it's important that you end the edge softness here as well, because on the top screen here, on top here, you can see that we have some of that edge softness as well. So we're going to go back to cropping here and simply find the point where it stops. That will be here. I'm just going to make a keyframe right here. Go one frame forward in time and take the cropping at the edge softness back here. So now we have this shot right here. Now the next thing we're going to do is to actually make those fake clouds. So we're going to go over to the circle with the plus and we're going to create a new overlay here. And I'm just going to stretch this, just overlap each, on each side here so we have a little bit more to work with. And I'm going to go into edit on this, go over to titles here. Then we're going to delete your text here and add a shape. Now you can use any type of shapes you want, but I prefer to use the circle. And what you're going to do now is to simply just make a shape and duplicate it and place it around on the screen to kind of illustrate the form of a cloud. And this is all individual on how you want to make this. It's all up to you how you want to do that. So just be playful with it and, uh, and do what you want with the different shapes and so on. So it's really important that you place some random shapes here and there to make it more realistic. So now that we created this, 
we don't really have anything which is uh, looking uh, like a cloud and it, it just doesn't look good at all. So the next thing we're going to do is to go into edit on the clouds again. We're going to go over to color and effects and over to the water droplet up here and we're going to add a Gaussian 100. Now you can see that it looks more like a cloud. Now you can decide for yourself how much blur you want. I think we're going to go with around 90 for this, maybe 70. Let's go with the let's go with 80. So now that we get over to the timeline, we have something that looks like a cloud. We're not finished quite yet. We need to animate this and also make some uh, color adjustments. So we're going to go into the um, cloud here over to frame and fit. And we're also going to animate this. So I'm just going to zoom it in so it's a little bit bigger. And we're going to go to the uh, position of the start here. And I'm going to take this position Y and drag it all the way up. I also wanted to maybe come in a little bit of from an angle here to something like that. So I'm going to place it up on top here and we're going to go forward in time until we start to have the movement of the plane here. And as you can see, right before we get the lines here, which you can see here, uh, we want to start with uh, the animation. So what I'm going to do here now is to go forward here and simply going to add the keyframe right there and I'm going to go a little bit more. Then I'm going to drag the cloud here, just position Y and drag it down. So it covers the, uh, the uh, half of the screen here. I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to drag it down. So it covers the line. Maybe I need to adjust the placement a little bit here and uh, we're going to go to the end and we're going to take it all the way down. You can also rotate it here to get it outside of the frame as well. So let's first take a look at that on the timeline here. You can see the animation, it pans and then we have the cloud coming in and then the birds. Now it looks a little bit rough here as you can see, you can see the lines and so on. So we're going to go back into edit here and over to cropping. Again, we're going to use edge softness here but here we also have to crop in the bottom a tiny bit and the top. So if we go back to the timeline now, we should have a smoother transition. So we have the clouds coming in there and then we have the bird. You can also extend the size of it if you want it to be bigger and last longer as well. So we can go over to size and position here. And we can go to this one right here, the second keyframe, make it a little bit larger and pull it a little bit up. And we can go to the third keyframe. We can do the same, just make it a little bit bigger and pull it a little bit down. So if we scrub through now, you should have something that looks like this. The next step is to, of course, add some cinematic bars going to do that. I have my own cinematic bars here. So I'm just going to apply those to the timeline here and that just stretch them out a little bit. And we have a more cinematic look to the transition here. Now you can also see that the clouds are a little bit too bright. So we're going to go into edit here over to color and effects and to the color panel up here and add one original. With the original, you only have to take the brightness down a tiny bit to make it look more realistic. So now let's do a playback of this fake cloud pan transition. Now there you have a simple way of creating some fake clouds in LumaFusion which you can just add it to your footage and uh, you can really spice this up if you can make some proper keyframing to the pan animation as well. But like I said, I recommend that you already have this pan uh, shot inside your camera in your footage because that will make it so much easier for you to edit this in post-production. Now with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the art list um, a video I created as well for all the different ex uh, ooh, for all the different effects which you can find on the Illuma Fusion Masterclass course on rubbishcavelogs.com if you are interested in learning more about Luma Fusion, how you can create effects similar to After Effects, and so on. 
Now that said, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below and I see you guys in the next video.